Hi, this is Gurpreet Singh Sandhu, goalkeeper at Bengaluru Football Club and the Indian football team. I think it's very, very difficult to start off realizing that this job as a goalkeeper is way much more than, you know, what you uh, see on the pitch from outside and what you expect because it requires so many things other than physicality. Being isolated on the pitch for long periods of time if you're, you know, in possession or doing a mistake and, you know, feeling that it's your fault. Things like that take uh, big, big tolls on the mental aspect. I remember the days when I landed for the first time in Norway. I was living in a room which was maybe smaller than this one. It was in a basement. So yes, I mean, I used to come back to my room and think about why I'm here. I was very well placed in India and I was getting to play. I was getting great offers from different clubs. Uh, why do I go out every single day to the pitch when I know that I'm not going to be able to get my chance just like this because as a goalkeeper it's even more difficult to get your shot. I had to face a keeper, a competition who was like a brother to me but he was really good. You know, he was uh, the first team keeper in the Ivory Coast national team. He had been in the World Cup, he had been in the African Nations Cup and he was a club legend over there. To be able to, you know, replace him and show the coach why I should be playing was the most difficult thing that I've done. It took me two years to bring myself up to that level and to cross his level to be able to show that I'm better than what you have. So you have to at least give me a chance. I stopped thinking about home. I stopped thinking about my parents. I stopped thinking about what it was going to be like in India because I had made my mind up that I have to play at least one game, you know, where the coach says that, you know, he's doing really well, he deserves the spot. That's the day when, you know, I'll be satisfied with, with what I've done. And this is something that uh, people don't really know in India. Those days where I was uh, fighting for that spot were the most important days of my career. When I went over there, I hadn't got any salary for two months. And I went to the mall, I was like, okay, I need a haircut and stuff like that. So I went to the salon, I asked, how much does it cost? Like, in Indian rupees, it was around 7,000. I was like, oh, okay. And then I got to know that uh, the club is sponsored by a salon. And only the players who have signed, they get uh, free haircuts. So that was my motivation. And to be able to train every day to get that haircut, was was uh, truly special. I played my first game. The moment I signed and got my first salary, I was like, okay, book me up for that salon and I'm gonna get a haircut. So things like that I have never gone through before. The most important thing that I can take from the last nine years is that uh, those days in Norway, they helped me uh, build something which is the foundation and the core of who I am today. It's mental strength. Be open to that idea of learning something new and talking about your own feelings inside is something paramount and something very, very important.